So let's continue with uh, substitutions. Let's do this question. e to the power tan x into sec square x dx. So whose differentiation is which one? You should know that d by dx of tan x is sec square x and before doing integration you should have all the differentiation formula in your mouth. Give some 30 minutes in memorizing the formula then you are done with integration and differentiation forever. If you are not giving this 30 minutes, practice for 30 months also, you will never get good marks. You will never gain the confidence if you do not memorize the formula. So give time, the time that it demands, then only you will get the expertise. So tan x is x square x, so tan x I will take as t differentiation of tan x, so it's x square x dx is dt. Now I'm making a copy pasting kind of thing, x square x dx is dt and e to the power t. So this is e to the power t plus c. Questions look scarier but they are really easier. Let's do something else. Integrate 2x into sine of x square plus 1. As I told, you should have proper hand in differentiation that whose differentiation is which one you can make out. <coughs> so I'm finding x square is 2x, 1 is 0. So x square plus 1 as such I will take as t. So this is 2x plus 0 dx is dt or 2x dx is dt. So then the copy pasting is 2x dx gone. This is dt and this is sine t. Sine t is minus cos t plus c where t equals x squared plus 1. Log x whole square by x dx. Now, again, log x you take as t. Do not think the square part or anything. Just see the question. Log x is 1 by x. So this is 1 by x dx is dt. dx and 1 by x gone as dt. So this is t square dt, which is nothing but 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus c, which is t to the power 3 by 3 plus c. Okay, now if it is integration of sin x into cos x dx, it can be done by two ways, but if you'll see that sin x differentiation is cos x, so why to bother any other way? Sin x you take as t, cos x dx is dt, so cos x dx gone as dt, so this is dt, sin x is t t dt, so this is t square by 2 plus c. Whatever I am doing in integration, this is indefinite integral. Indefinite integrals or indefinite integration, basically meaning you can get 5 answers for 5 processes, but you will get the same mark. This question can be done in many ways. So that's what it's called indefinite. You can do any process you like. Now, if it is integration of sine of 2 tan inverse x divided by 1 plus x square dx. So you can take, you can make out that tan inverse x differentiation is 1 by 1 plus x square which is weighting down. So tan inverse x you take as t, 1 by 1 plus x square dx is dt. Now let's change the question, sine tan inverse x is t, so sine 2t and dx by 1 plus x square is dt. 
Now sine 2t is in the form of sine star. So this will be cos 2t by, I'm sorry, sine integration of sine is minus cos divided by 2 plus c, where t equals to tan inverse x. Let's do another one. e to the power 2x integrate e to the power 2x by e to the power 2x minus 2. Now, you can make out whose differentiation is which one. If you will keenly observe e to the power 2x minus 2 if I will take as t e to the power 2x differentiation is e to the power 2x into dy dx of 2x minus 2 is minus 0 is dt. So this is e to the power 2x into 2 is dt. So this is 2 into e to the power 2x dx is dt. I'm having a e to the power 2x here, so I'll multiply or 2 and I'll divide or 2. Then I'll change the question as 1 by 2. This part becomes dt. So this is dt by t, which is nothing but 1 by 2 log t plus c, where t is e to the power 2x minus 2.